Every day I wake up, I'm going to declare, there will be no sorrow because the enemy wants to steal my joy. When I finally get what it is that God has given to me, but there shall be no sorrow. There shall be. I remember one day I was in prayer and I said, God, I just feel like crying. Like I'm talking about not just no any kind of cry. I'm talking about boohoo crying. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, because that's how it's going to be when the blessing comes. It's going to be so overwhelming. But then I started to get attacked by the enemy. And I said, devil, I know what it is that you're doing. I said, God has promised me the blessings of God. And it's going to be so overwhelming. It's going to be like it's going to overtake me. And I will cry tears of joy. And since you are a counterfeit Satan, I see what you're trying to to do. You're trying to make it to where I cry tears of sadness and you're trying to make it to where all of the disappointments that I've had to experience everything that I had to go through but there will be no sorrow. There will be no sorrow. There will be no sorrow. Not in this hour. Not in this season. Not at this appointed time. There will not be no Sorrow. Jeremiah 16 talks about how there was a curse and desolation was in the land and it was so bad that not even a dog wanted to live there. How many of you can say that you've been in a rough season and it seemed like season after season after season and you know God, you got better for me Jesus, but if you keep reading in Jeremiah 33, then it begins to talk about how God lifted the curse and how he restored the voice of the bride and the bridegroom and he restored their voice and he restored gladness unto him there will be no sorrow in this season not this time not this time not this time not this time